some of you may have heard about BPC-157, thymosin alpha-1, thymosin beta-4, CJC epimerillin. Those are kind of the most common or even semaglutide or terzepatide. We'll talk about those maybe later. Those we will call long chain peptides. The short chain peptides, which are the bioregulator peptides, we don't generally have a deficiency of them. But the theory mm. that Professor Cavinson puts forward is that every living creature has what he calls a 30 to 40% biological reserve. So call, think of that as an untapped potential, okay? okay? Now let's say as we're moving through life, there's regular normal wear and tear on our parts, just as you would lose tread on the tires of your car or you would, you know, your brakes wear down. It's normal. It's not pathological. It's just normal wear and tear. The way he kind of would approach using bioregulator peptides from a longevity and health span perspective is basically just kind of restoring and mm. refreshing and giving a, a signal to the body, hey, let's do a little, give that pancreas a little love and rejuvenate it a little bit or the okay. liver or the stomach. So that would be from a, the perspective of, you know, someone who's basically healthy, who might do a couple of rounds of these bioregulators once or twice a year. I think of it as just, you know, kind of tapping into that reserve, right. as it were. And keeping your levels at age appropriate is what you're trying to do there. Yeah. And even better, right? Because yeah. if I'm 60, I'd love to be like, for me, if, if I'm 60 and I can present more like a 40 year old or a 45 year old, yeah. this is good, right? So I want my biological age ultimately to be lower than my chronological age if I can make that happen. And peptides are helping us do that. So it's like a new peptides discovery can. that it's like, an, it start off as more like an anti-aging than it, or a longevity tool. Well, you know, the first people that really tapped into peptides, like the longer chain peptides, are the bodybuilders. Oh, and the bodybuilders. Yes. Bodybuilders are the ultimate and the original biohackers, if you think about it. Yeah, These it's true. are people obsessed yeah. with controlling the outcome that they were getting from their bodies. Oh, so interesting. 